Hey, before I start today's RetroBat Homebrew main setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Homebrew main today and surprisingly, this is pretty simple to set up. So one thing that you're going to need to know is that the actual main ROM set you're going to need is very specific it needs to be homebrew main rom set 0.244 that'll work fine so you can google that wherever you get your games from and it will be fine and just to let you know that your main rom set will likely be merged and that's exactly what we want we want a merged homebrew main rom set for this so we're going to head over to a website first of all and this is the homebrew main official website now we need to download some additional software just here just to audit some files, just to make sure we've got everything set up correctly. So the one I'm gonna recommend you downloading here is the Homebrew main UI. So we actually get to see what we're doing rather than using the HB main CMD line just there. So just download the HB main UI just here. Now I've already downloaded this, it's on my desktop. When you download it, what we're going to need to do is just extract it. So for now, I'm just going to create a new folder on my desktop. So right click, new folder, and I'm going to just call this one HP. That'd be fine. Now you need to extract all the contents out of that download into that new folder. Okay, once that's done, we can now delete the HP main UI, the archive for that. We no longer need that one. If we go into the HP folder, then it's very similar to a real main emulator or the conventional main emulator we got a rom folder here so what i'm going to do with this is drag and drop some of my hp main games inside there if i just make a copy of these for now and just paste them into that folder next thing we need to do is open up hp main ui Okay, so like I say, this is just like main, it's just a special version HP main. So we need to audit the games that we just placed into the ROMs folder. So if we go to file and we're going to go down to audit existing sets and we're just going to let this check run. Okie doke, so once that's done, we're just going to go down to close. Now we can see in my list just here, the ones in green, this is the games that I've got. And this is the ROM hack, so as we can see, 1942, the hack for this particular game has got C64 music with it apparently. We've also got 1942 just here, which is a Galaga X version. And if we scroll downwards, we'll likely come across the other games that I've dragged into my main UI ROMs folder. And if we're looking for a specific game, so you don't want to download the entire homebrew main ROM set, then we can use the search bar at the top, and I'm going to type in uh, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And here we go, the ones in the green just here are the working ROMs. So I've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Cowabunga Mode, whatever that is. I've also got an X Super version. So as we can see, it's testing out what we've actually got in, what's going to work and what's not going to work. So we're going to close out of here and what we're going to do next then is open up the RetroBat directory, right click on the shortcut, open file location, down to ROMs and we're just going to scroll down to find HB main folder. Here's HB main folder. So I'm going to start off with 1942. Inside of 1942, there should be some extra folders with the hacks of the game in there. So what I need to do then, once that's dragged and dropped into my ROMs HB main folder, is just go into 1942. And say, for example, I want to use this hack just here, the Galaga hack. Then what I'm going to do is right click on that folder, copy, come out. And then I'm going to paste it right just here. Now, what I need to do next is zip this. So I'm going to right click on that folder and I'm going to go to compress to zip file. And if we go in that zip file, here's Galaga and here's the files. Now, if you don't zip this, if you don't compress it, it's not going to show up in RetroBat at all. So that's all good to go and we can delete that folder just there because we just can press this into a zip. Next up, I'm going to go for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So on the right hand side window just here, 
we can see the goods inside of here. So again, what I need to do is drag and drop it into my ROMs HP main folder, go into there, and say I want to use this hack. Not sure at this point which hack this one is, but I just need to right click, copy, come out and paste that folder. And then we're just going to compress it by right clicking zip file. And then of course, once it's generated that zip, we can then delete the folder. And lastly, I've got Salamander just here. So I'm gonna drag and drop that one inside. Uh, SP clone, I'm presuming that's a hack itself. So I'm gonna copy that folder and come out and paste it. And I'm gonna compress it by right clicking, compress to zip file and then delete the folder just here. So what we're going to do next then is go into Retrobat. Okay, so if you've done this correctly, you should see HP main within Retrobat. If we go inside of here, I can see my games here. So we got Galaga X, which is obviously the HP main version of this, the hacked version. If we open this game, we just need to install the HP main emulator. So just press yes on this. Now, for anyone that knows Galaga or 1942, you'll know this looks very bizarre. And it is bizarre because this is the actual hacked version of it. just used my hotkeys I'm just gonna come out with there and we're gonna try out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X Super version let's kick shell let's kick shell So very cool stuff. I've also got Salamander. Destroy them all! Okay, so everything appears to be working fine. So what I'm going to do next then is just open up view options. So press select button, advanced system options. Now under emulator, you should keep this one to HP main because it works fine. Under decorations, this is set to auto. If you want to change it to a different decoration, just remember by putting one of these decorations in place, you'll need to make sure that game aspect ratio is set to auto for this to happen. Vertical sync. Just gonna leave this to auto, which is gonna automatically select yes. 
If you get no visuals at all, then obviously just go down to drivers in the video and change this over to a different back end. But for me, Auto D3D works just fine. Now, obviously, we're going to want some artwork for this. So just as usual, we're going to go to main menu by pressing start down to scraper, scraper settings. Just make sure all your settings are put in place down to systems included. Just make sure main homebrew is selected and then go down to scrape now. And once that's done, we're going to go to game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go then. So we got some artwork <laughs> for some of these games. So a way to actually specifically download artwork for a single game or do anything else, just hold on to the A button. I'm using the Xbox controller for this. Go down to scrape. And we're going to find a selection of artwork just here. So this game I've got is obviously Turtles in Time. So if I want to download Turtles in Time artwork, I just download it. And that's it then for today's Retro Bat in Homebrew main setup guide. So not that complicated. Just remember it's a case of going into your zip folders and taking out the hacks that you want, which are in subfolders. Just remember to compress them into zip files. It's pretty simple, really. Anyways, if you liked the video today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. Also, feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.